Hello, 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 everybody. Brian here. I'm um, just taking a look at how the P&L has been doing overall. We have no open positions right now in our Forex and uh, CFD uh, with Awanda. Um, let me see the trading history, just see how things have been playing out here. Okay, so I've not looked at this at all. Let's see, here we go. So today's October 9th. Uh, we've got here... Um, some of the crypto coins here, especially Euro, GBP got killed. So this is a learn, learn a lesson here where we got to turn off these and deactivate these strategies because look at what's happening here. Um, this happened at 115, between 115 and 545. Look at all those losses, 620, 1269, 686, 957. So we have to turn those off. Meanwhile, on the other hand, we get lucky and this one did okay, 30 bucks. Um, again, another one we have to just turn these off. 1926. So you, the uh, with this strategy I'm using, the reversing strategy, uh, the reversing MACD. You just can't really let it rip on its own because it's it's not. I mean, it can you can get lucky, but you just don't want to take these losses. So you have to watch those to either deactivate uh, the strategy on that pair or just get rid of the pair and not let the um, let it run on those pairs. So here we have um, British pound against the Hong Kong dollar down 20 bucks. Uh, Euro against the GBP did okay. So it did start making some money again. Uh, okay, so here is our big one as usual. And that's from today. Uh, October, oh, that's from yesterday, sorry. So that's 97 bucks. So let me see. There's not been a lot of trades been happening uh, at all. So uh, here's the thing. Lessons to be learned. You got to watch these. You really got to watch them. Because what I had open was Brent crude. Nothing was treated there. We did have the SPX. Uh, USD China did not trade. The Euro uh, against the Euro 50 didn't trade. Neither did the France. That's another problem too. Some of these don't trade. I don't know if it's the lack of uh, volume. Um, I don't know. But they're, if they're not trading, they're not trading. But over time, you'll get to know which ones trade and which ones don't. So we're on a Friday, 115. Let me see if we can get some sort of activity still. Uh, the ones I'm going to get rid of, I'm just going to get rid of all these except the US ones. Um, these are not really trading. Euro. Deactivate that. Uh, French and European, I'm going to get rid of as well, or just deactivate them. Uh, so nothing, nothing traded today, okay, at all. Uh, I'm going to deactivate the Brent crude. So as I said, I'm going to leave the U.S. base ones. You can see here they should still take some trades. I don't know why. There's nothing put on today. All right, so here's the watch list. It looks like uh, WTI's up, Brent crude's up, natural gas is up, the US 2000's up, that's all cool. So here, um, this is a back test. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a scan, what I usually do, a harmonic scan on the CFD as as well as the uh, good old scan, scan scanner here. Um, and we're going to do the harmonic scan on the new one I created a few days ago, the four hour. And just let it rip. There's about, let me just show you how many instruments there are in there. There's, a, there's a, pretty well all the um, Forexes in there, most of the CFDs. So there's 134 instruments in total. On the system, it's fairly fast. Um, I've just recorded my crypto. There's a lot more activity, crypto moving up now as well. But I don't expect a lot to be come out of this. What I will say is I'll leave the ones that look promising open uh, over the weekend because it's ready to go automatically if it will trade come Sunday night when Asian markets open up around 5, 5 p.m. my time, namely Australia, New Zealand. Um, but hopefully, I don't know why they're not picking up trades. And that's using the uh, reversing MACD. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Okay.
Ba 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 boom. All right, so we got a bunch. Uh, so right now I'm just going to look at excellent score. I mean, I might consider the very good. And again, it comes back to the same old. Uh, I always forget about this. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, scan right here. Okay, here we go. So here's the excellent. So we, we've got some a treasury, a two-year treasury. That's a short. And again, we're always looking for that uh, target to be higher than the current price. So this looks good. Uh, USD, Thai bot, um, short. Brent crude's looking good. So I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a gimme because it's up. Uh, so we'll definitely open that one up. DCO, USD. Okay, I'm always just typing in USDT. Okay, so let me apply. Okay, so that's a 15 minute, one hour. Yeah, so that's a good time frame to apply. Boom. Okay, and activate. Back to our scan. So we have uh, these two not looking good. Um, let me try that. Let me try the, the China 50 here. Okay, we'll just pull that up because that's a long. China 50. We had this before, I believe, but this is up and down. I mean, that's looking, that looked pretty good from the last session. So hopefully we'll be ready for the next session on Sunday. If you haven't told, today's October 9th on the bottom right there, if you can see that. Okay, so we're ready for that. Um, back to the scan here. Uh, let's see, that's a long two. That's pretty convincing. So we have Euro 50. Now, let me, let me, let me pull that up. I'm, I'm gonna try that again, even though it didn't trade. Um, so if you thought I wanna shot the EU 50, uh, one hour, Time frame. I mean, it's moving up. I don't know why it's not taking the trade. Uh, could be. I, I think it's personally it's volume. It's not triggering the sale, or it can be the timing of these little entry markers. That could be it as well. No. Okay. Scan. All right. So we have here Euro Canadian. Two shorts. No thanks. I don't want shorts. So SPX five hundred. That's looking good. Um, SPX 500, that's a SPY basically, SPX, S&P 500, um, one hour, oh, that's looking good, so we'll jump on that, and that will start up obviously Monday morning, so we sh the system should be ready for that, uh, what else do we got here, uh, ba -ba -bum. scan, Australia, same thing here about Australia 200. Um, I'll, I'll definitely set it up. We got a nice run up, so why not? So let's do our chart and do our Australia, is it 200? AU 200, boom. Okay, that's looking awesome. I'd gladly take that, boom. Okay, now let's continue in the scan here. Uh, France, not so much, doesn't excite me, but it's still an excellent score. So we're going to go through the other ones to see if anything else might jump out at us. I think this was a very good one to trade. No, no. Now, if I look at the trading history, just give me a second here. If I go to the chart or here, uh. So we'll open up trading history now. Chart account, no. Optimize floating, no. Okay, let's go up here. We'll go to chart, and then we open up our trade history. So what I'm going to show here are the losing ones. Okay, so we have here Euro, GBP. Um, we got a bunch here, all on here. 
Now, the reason I bring that up is when I go into the scan, this is where I get screwed up. Okay, see here it's a short. Uh, I don't know why I bothered opening it up because uh, I'm thinking that's a long. I think something must have, yeah, see this one must have really thrown me because you really gotta pay attention to these good score, very good scores and good scores to make sure when you look at the excellent ones, even though they may have a uh, GBP Euro, or sorry, Euro GBP up here, and let's say it's indicating a long, but when you go into the very good and good and you start to see some short ones, you just don't take those trades, because that's one of the reasons why that happened, taking losses. Here it's pretty evident, because we've got a short and a long. So once you start seeing the shorts, don't do it. If, if that's what you're expecting as a long. Here, is a different story because we have the euro Japanese yen now from what I read and I gotta tell you I, I, I read a lot the Japanese yen is on its way let me let me see if that is convincing will I chance it yeah because it, it's 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 expected to be a long even though that's a very good score so I will open that up and risk that euro Japanese yen, boom. And again, um, you gotta be very careful when uh, on the time frame that you select. Right now, I'm doing one hour. If I, from what I've seen, if you do four hour, it's not gonna trade enough. So I think one hour might be just good enough. So let me just see. There is some history here. So MACD, okay. Let me just check the trading history here of that. That was Euro Japanese Yen, a loss there. Mm, maybe um, nothing there, another loss. So you know what, when I see these losses, I'm gonna say no thanks. All right, <clears throat> continuing along. Scan, scan, scan we are. Euro Australia, these are shorts, no, no. G GPP New Zealand a couple of longs here you know I'm gonna I'm gonna leave those out I'm not gonna play with those so what we got set up here is euro USD um, let's see the scan for it yeah there's nothing here uh, so I'm gonna close that euro USD now the euro GBP let me check on the history of that the trading history that is Euro against GBP. Euro, good. See, I like that one. GBP against the Australian dollar. That was a nice trade. And again, this is all simulated, mind you. So we have the Euro against the GBP. What else? See, you know, we got a loss here, got a loss there. So I'm not willing, if I was to short it, maybe. Um, BCO, so what we have left, BCO, CN50, Euro 50, SPX 500, that'll trade for sure. Part of me wants to say, yeah, do the US 30, because that did really well. But guess what? I'm not seeing it in here. I am not seeing it. There is a way to get around that. US 30. Hmm. Let me see uh, how that looks with the um, US 30. Let's see what it says here. Okay. So let me just see what the um, harmonic chart would say. So we have all these charts. Um, what I could do is do this. There is an automatic, and this is a nice one. Auto harmonic. This is nice. Let's see. So we want all create. That's looking good. <laughs> That's looking pretty good still. So you know what? I don't want to miss out on that trade as well. So um, I'll definitely.
definitely throw that into the mix for Monday morning. U.S. Was, uh, 30? Mm, can't remember the number. U.S. 30. U.S. I think it's 30. Okay. Scan. No. Uh, I think it was under scan. Yeah, so we were trying to do US 30. Okay, so I'll go back on our charts. US 30. I really don't want to miss out on that. US 30. 15 minute. No, I, I do like, I do think one hour is the best right now at the time. Okay, so we will apply the strategy. Oh, something traded. Yay. Um... see if there was a trade in this no nothing okay so there's that uh, uh, is the strategies ready to go looks like they are um, uh, activate that um, those are all activated now let me go back in the trading history and then there's this juicy trade I like GBP Against the Australian dollars. Let me go back to uh, home. And what I can do is I can apply GDP against Australia. How did this look? And I'm applying that study, the auto, 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 harmonic. All. Ooh, yes. Uh, yeah, so on the daily, looking good. Yeah, I'm going to definitely continue that trade. Charts, here we go, GBP, uh, Australia, dollar, one hour. Um, that might be the best pair out there right now. Um. Oh, I think I got lucky on that. I don't like the looks of that. 15 minute daily. No, not really. Let's get, okay, so this is what we're going to set up for uh, Sunday night, my time. BCO, CN50, Euro, EU50, SPX500, AU2000, and US30. So they're just CFDs, okay? That's what we're going to set up for and hopefully get something nice and keep the system on. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day.